Hello, Reason users. This is Alternating Bit, and I am very excited to try out this new synth from Blamsoft Inc. It's the Viking, uh, the Viking, the VK1 Viking synthesizer. This is a beautiful looking machine, uh, if you can say so about VSTs. And uh, it's just, yeah, I mean, I just love the look of these. Can I just be very. Um, I don't know, professional and say these shiny, beautiful knobs. But anyway, let's get on with uh, just seeing how this thing uh, looks and works. This is just at a very, very uh, premature, like just downloaded, taking a look at it. So you guys, if you want to just, you know, you're on the go and you want to just hear a little bit what the presets sound like and, and stuff. So I'm going to do that for you. So let's just jump in through here, some of the presets, okay? Very raw sound, and that is actually the uh, the some of the the push for this unit. They're talking about the really raw analog sound of you know the early synths and stuff. So that's that's kind of what they're going for, and uh, I think they've achieved it. Let's just hear some sounds. I'm just turning the, the main filter, the cutoff filter, just to get a little bit of, to see what, you know, that particular preset can do. That's all I'm going to really change as I'm jumping through these. Busy Sunday. <laughs> Came a long way there from the original classic rock sound. Well, actually not that far. Okay, moving on. Cubic power. Well, that's a nice release to it. I'm barely touching the keys here. Switch the higher scales here. sound evolution. Of course, a lot of this can change if you uh, add, um, it doesn't have a built-in arpeggiator, at least not one that I noticed. Um, you can always add some arpeggiation and make things a little bit more interesting. Of course, that's not a sound that uh, we've never heard of or anything, so... Uh I'm just skipping over that one. That's a pretty nice sound. Moving on. Ah, oh, this is the one I was playing with a little bit earlier. It's called Modern Jazz. 
not too much going on. But then, I doubt I'll be able to do again what I did before, but let's see. No, I've completely lost whatever I did before. Huh. This has become a session of, uh, let's just hit that button and see what it does. Uh, never mind. Moving on. Just so you can hear with these presets. I think there's like 75 presets. Nah. I remember uh, there's a couple sounds. I was like, eh, and then I got back into some cool stuff. At least, you know, my opinion. I mean, you might like those sounds. I did most of the sequencing, so if you couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, it's those normal sounds I like to just tear up. You know, if it's like a conventional instrument, I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's 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 analogify this. Analogify. I think we're back to the beginning. Really? I thought there were 75 sounds. Let's take a look. Hmm. Oh, that's just under the, uh, oh, there you go. That's why. Th those are all leads. Okay. Let's hear some of the basses. Hmm. Again, if this is arpeggiated, it probably would sound a little bit more interesting. Why do you sound so quiet? Again, I have a feeling this synth is designed, again, uh, much more for its... Uh, ability uh, to play with sounds with its oscillators. Yeah, I mean, just read the site. It really obviously describes it uh, much better than I will, but um, it also has a lot of CV uh, things, inputs, and uh, changes you can do. All these modulation things in the back. Um, just take a look at that. And then, uh, and you know, they, they, they were making this big claim, though, that the CV thing was, uh, you know, unique or something to these analog synths, but the, the Rob Papen has it. Uh, Predator has it as well, the CV inputs. But I guess uh, I guess they got even more things going on. You like my technical talk? Yeah, I'm definitely not an engineer, sound engineer. But I like uh, synth music, so I know it sounds good at least. All right, these basses aren't um, really doing very much for me right now. I'm sure if they were compressed, affected, and, and you know, some very little. Let's see. Let's check out another folder. Yeah, they sound okay, but effects. Eh. Sure, let's check. Oh, there's only a couple anyway. What? Wait, I just did something wrong. Broken drum repatch. Broken drum. Why does it sound like a bass sound? Hmm. S 
So I would say you're definitely not buying this for presets. You're talking to a guy who just bought the Rob Papen Predator not long ago, and I was just blown away with... It was like thousands of presets, and a lot of them were arpeggiated, and they just sounded really, really cool. So to me, this is a, a basic synth for presets, but a lot of powerful stuff. I think I just lost all credibility with this review. It's okay. I didn't have much to begin with. Effects, and we'll just do one last bit. Let's do, oh, uh, there's your percussion leads. Not interested. Let's do um, soft leads. Let's see what go Chick-fil-A, interesting. Okay, this this is a very premature review. Uh, I could very easily a week from now, uh, after using it, uh, say a lot more about it. And I just wanted to just throw it out there if anybody wanted to hear some of the presets since they didn't make that very available to hear. So my overall impression is um, after, you know, for some of the tweaking I did, um, I was having a lot of fun. It sounded like some, you can do some really cool stuff. Presets, not really that impressed. Um, I was able to, uh, it's very important for me to have control uh, with my controller. And I was uh, very happy and proud to be able to do it by myself without having their help because they didn't have any remote maps available. So I knew how to name it properly. Scope, Lambsoft, Inc. Uh, Com.lambsoft. Capital V. Viking is the device. Control surface item key. And then you just do your regular mapping. And it managed to pick it up. I just I just mapped two controls just to see if it would work. And sure enough, I got the uh, the rate with my controller and then the uh, filter just to see if it would work. So that works. That's awesome. Really excited about that. And I'll have some time to decide before if I want to buy this unit or not. But for now, uh, that's just a quick reaction and just showing you uh, some of the, the presets. Hope this was helpful in any way. This is all standing bit. Until next time. Come on, I can end better than that. Give me something. Oh, really?